the binomial name for an echidna, the Latin name, is Tachyglossus aculetus. Tachyglossus meaning fast, quick tongue, and aculetus meaning spiky. The echidna's name was derived from a Greek goddess, the mother of monsters. She was half snake and half human. That's because monotremes are very reptilian-like. Of course, echidnas lay an egg. Monotreme means one opening. Did you know that echidnas are the most widely spread native mammal here in Australia? They're found in every state, every territory, and every environment. They really are a very successful animal. They're the closest cousin to the platypus. Now echidnas can run up to 2.3 kilometers per hour. That's relatively slow. They're not renowned for their speed. Echidnas lay one egg only when they're breeding. The egg only takes 10 days to hatch. A baby echidna, of course, is called a puggle. Look at their long snout for shoveling through the dirt and undergrowth hunting for their prey. Echidnas love eating ant larvae, ants, termites and earthworms. <coughs> they slurp up their prey with their 15 centimetre long tongue. Echidnas are curious animals because their front feet face forward, their back feet face backwards. They've adapted to dig directly beneath themselves like an earthworks excavator. Their claws are particularly shaped so they can comb through their spines to comb their fur. Echidnas are home to the world's largest flea, the echidna flea. Echidnas have the second lowest body temperature of any mammal on the planet, second to the platypus. Echidnas have known to go into a torpor over cooler winter periods. That's when they lower their metabolism and don't need to forage for food. Echidnas face a number of threats around the city of Manningham. The worst threat to them is loss of habitat. They need understory, undergrowth, and they need lots of rotting logs so they can shuffle around hunting for their prey. The second biggest risk is traffic and road trauma. They're often found walking across our roads in Manningham, and sadly, they get run over by vehicles. If you want to help out echidnas in Manningham, walk your dog on a leash. Join a land care group and plant more habitat for echidnas. Always keep an eye out for echidnas crossing roads. Create some undergrowth, create a corridor through your back garden. Everyone can help out echidnas in the city of Manningham.